wake up, start smoking a spliff. <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toast is grip, the clip fly and I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen in Uh Broke niggas, they want a war with the ops. Entrepreneurs, he passed the corner store and they block. Double park and open, both doors on a drop. You could choose to hate it or use it for motivation. Was taught to be real, I'm kinda new to all this faking. I'm with the smoke, we could have a shootout and call it vaping. I like my woman serious, not all the plan. <laughs> she fucking mad niggas and call it dating. The nerve of her, only the corny niggas is concerned with her. It ain't right she got left, who had they turn with her? She a lame if she make you use your visa. Backseat of the range, that's how you do a eater. Yeah, yeah, but that's only if I choose to be her. I heard she had her cat on your tongue like a Puma sneaker. New 2024 with the newest feet. Stupid feet. Playing with dummies, you gon' lose it trying to keep dope. Chasing that money if you stupid and make your feet slow. I can't believe how many dumb niggas got an ego. You gotta plant the seed for being humble and watch your green grow. This for my working men, retired with a home. Storyteller, be quiet, you still lying and you grown. We bought a cause and cash, I'm getting tired of the loans. The only notes I know is a reminder in my phone. In my own lane, nigga, come and fuck with a star. This lane I'm in only got luxury cars. This pain in my pen to help cover the scars, yeah. You mentioned slick talk, it come with the guard, yeah. I'm talking big talk, what's double the odds, yeah. It's gonna be clip talk when I crumble your jaw. You gotta listen. Don't be the speaker, not a turn crew. Always remember, the teacher had to learn too. Go. Bow, 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 bow. You already know what it is, man. Shamir Vada Fly. Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang. Everybody who subscribes to the channel, who watches it frequently and in passing. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Shout out to the sliders, free to shooters, free to drivers. Thank y'all for staying with us. I don't want to say it too much, but I can't say it enough. Ever and, I, you know, people been hitting me up, trying to send me screenshots. You know, people want to talk about this blog I made last week. I want to talk about that. I don't want to talk to none of y'all niggas. I don't. I don't. Make your next blog. Life goes on. I don't want to talk. I <laughs> think we need to explain that. I don't like explaining myself to niggas. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. No. Every single one of y'all is the reason why this channel continues to grow and do the things that it does. And like I said again, shout out to my boy Showtime SP. His birthday is actually coming up this Tuesday. I saw him this morning. You know what I'm saying? He's heading out for a couple of days. With the fam, I'm actually heading out too tomorrow, but I wanted to come talk to y'all. Drop a blog, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, his birthday is Tuesday. Uh, I usually throw up his cash app around his birthday, you know what I'm saying? We get we we send it up with him, you know what I'm saying? Another year of life. The nigga aging backwards. He might be 48, but he looks 18. I don't know what's up with this nigga. But shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everything that he's got going on, you know what I'm saying? A great, great, great guy. But um, let's get into it, man. It's a couple things that I wanna break down as I sketch bout. Uh, URL had the Nexus event yesterday. I only saw two of the battles. I ain't even know, like, about two and a little bit of change. I seen like O-Red versus Swervo. Swervo was nice, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Swervo and everything he's got going on. DMV, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I've, been, I've seen him for a couple years now and he's had some good battles. I seen him versus Rocky did his thing. I believe it was Cortez. And I seen him beat O-Red. O-Red is still choking. <laughs> What y'all niggas want me to say, son? Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. The nigga still choking 15 years later and shit, so whatever. Um, I saw JC versus Eunice. That was a pretty good battle. And I seen Jack Boy versus Loso. Um, I, Loso, I, I think I had Loso 2-1. Uh, I had Loso in the first. I had Jack with the sec. No, I had Loso, Loso in the third and in the first. I think I gave Jack the second or some shit like that. Loso had some angles about Jack. Uh, what what I heard was that they only had like five days preparation for a battle, so it'd be really hard to judge those type of battles. To me, Loso had better substance and and crafted material like Jack, like angles and shit like that, because he had the angle about uh, Jack. Uh, Lady Flames having a baby, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she had a baby. Like I said, I don't be caught up in all of the, the daily nigga shit. But you know what I'm saying? He had a he had an angle about it, and it, it hit pretty well. Jack puts together he put together a lot of words, pretty cool. The iffy iffy, the Mississippi, the gun buck, the gun buck, the gun buck. Like Loso had to me, just my personal opinion. Loso had more substance. It was what it was. I had Loso with the win. 
and then it was Jack Boy, I mean, um, JC versus Eunice. JC had some pretty dope material, pretty fire ass rounds. Eunice rounds was maybe a little bit longer. He was getting a lot more reaction in some of the rounds. He was pretty good though. So he might have, he might, he might have crept out of there with that shit. I ain't even gonna hold you. But JC was JC, and them, them bombs and the lines that he had, them bitches was hitting. I ain't gonna hold you. But it was Saturday. I had like an AirPod and a half in, so. I, if I went back and like really broke it down line for line for line, I ain't got no bars and all that shit. <laughs> I don't got it. I ain't got it. They ain't shot it. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. But from what I kind of saw, I think Eunice might have got that 2-1. JC was nice. It was a pretty good battle. I ain't gonna hold you. The Jack and Loso was pretty good too, but I, but Loso was a little choppy though, a little choppy poppy. I ain't gonna hold a little, cho little chopped cheese. He had a little chopped cheese on that shit. But he said he only had five days preparation, so how can I really deduct or take away points for niggas who only had um five days prep? Um, Goods, you know what I'm saying? Goods got the motion with Lil Wayne. It looks like a new money, young money, young money, new money, whatever the case may be situation. I'm very proud of Goods and I'm glad to see him doing what he's doing, like even making those kind of connections, next level connections with Wayne and shit like that. You know, the, hopefully the future's excited for him. And one thing I can say about Goods, whether it be from his uh, battle rapping, his business acumen, the slick walks and a lot of the moves that he makes, help facilitate and put you in scenarios where you can uh, meet people that are doing bigger things because they see how you moving already. It's like, okay, uh, he's already got a brand. He's already doing the shoot thing. He's already pushing music. He's, he's already got all these cologne. So when somebody that has more capital runs into you and you run down your resume and the shit that you got going on, it's like, yo, I would want to do nothing else but help uh, grow what you have going on, you know what I'm saying? Because you already have the business mind. So um, Wild Goods has not really explained or said what he has going on, Wayne, and he don't have to yet, you know what I'm saying? Make it happen how you make it happen. Uh, it does look good, and you know what I'm saying? He got the video with Wayne and the offset, and then, you know, we'll see how that goes, man. It's pretty good. Um, URL came out with their uh, Summer King Madness, King Madness, Summer Queen King, Summer Madness, Summer Madness, Kings and Queens, Kings and Queens, Summer Madness. You can call it what you want. But uh, it's the URL card that's going down, you know what I'm saying? They're, uh, they're summer. It won't be a Summer Madness this year, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows that. But uh, it's going to be a Kings versus Queens Supreme, you know what I'm saying? It, it, what it's called. Saturday, September 14th, Summer Madness, Kings and Queens, Tay Rock versus Jazz the Rapper, Geechee Gotti versus Miss Hustle, Rum Nitty versus Vixen the Assassin, John John versus Coffee Brown, and 40 Bars versus Twerk, T Top versus Official is going down in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, all the MCs that's on the card and that's gonna do their thing. Um, looking at it from the outside, it, it looks like a Kings versus Queens. And there's nothing wrong with Kings versus Queens because here's the thing, I've seen people online complaining about it, complaining, oh, this ain't Summer Man, this is not blah, 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 blah. Listen, here's a couple of things, number one. Number one, niggas is all gonna watch it. <laughs> so why, I'm not gonna sit here and just jump out the window and overly complain about something that I'm probably gonna watch more than likely, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tay Rock vs. Jazz the Rapper is a battle that a lot of people have asked for, people have said something about for a while. Tay Rock is on his run, he's got Big K a couple weeks before, and to have a battle like Jazz, uh, it, it could do a lot for him, especially in his run, the year that he's going on in the belt, the year, everything he's trying to win. So you gotta see Rock continue to move on through the cycle, but for Jazz, uh, I was thinking about what I was going to say today. Uh, shout out to Jazz, you know what I'm saying? Jazz is like, uh, I know Jazz pops, you know what I'm saying? I've seen Jazz around a bunch of times, you know what I'm saying? Jazz is on television with us. I love Jazz, you know what I'm saying? That's my people. Uh, whenever we, whenever I'm in the, any city that they got some shit going on in, I definitely pull up to the event. We definitely be out, shit like that, you know what I mean? But um, good rapper, you know what I'm saying? One of the best female goats and shit like that, battling against Tay Rock, who's on a mission right now. Uh, Jazz needs to close the door. She needs to win a battle, like, pretty clearly, you know what I'm saying? The battle versus Coffee Brown, however you want to call it, 2-1, 2-1, debatable, however you want to debate, fine. Big K, I had Big K winning. Jazz don't go three, four battles with, like, uh, mediocre, not mediocre, but, like, I might have won, didn't win, lost, might have won, didn't win, lost. We don't know you for that. Your supreme level, we know you for winning, we know you for being one of them ones. A battle like Tay Rock is a battle that She's gonna come into it with an even playing field. And Jazz got a lot of support in New Orleans because Official, who's also on this card, is from New Orleans, and they battled in New Orleans before. They've done two on twos in New Orleans, and Jazz is very familiar with the scene. She's probably got people down there, but Rock is like one of the all-time goats. The URL 
you know what I'm saying, logo. He's going to be there and it's going to be a war. Uh, going into it, Rock is on like a supreme run right now and it will kind of be hard for me to pick against Tay Rock. So I'm probably 2-1 Tay Rock. Then you got Jazz in New Orleans and all the Rock flips. Oh, Jazz, what you got yourself into? Jazz, what you got yourself into? Uh, yeah, this is the... Um, Damar Hamlin joint from last year too, you know what I'm saying? You know, Damar Hamlin had went through all that shit I copped that I never really rocked it, so I threw it on. Uh, but uh, jazz, jazz, let's sit, let the sax on jazz, you dramatic clap, you, you're like, you, why would you battle rock in, why would you battle rock in New Orleans and your name is jazz? And the jazz used to play in New Orleans, and then you got pistol, 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 Pete, like bro, he's gonna, the nigga gonna have flips for days. Uh, my safe bet, they're sliding the chips over to Rock 2-1. Geechee Gotti versus Miss Hustle. If Geechee cares, I got him winning. Uh, if he doesn't, you know, they're on the same team and shit like that. Uh, people feel like I hate Miss Hustle. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing in your career. I hope you win the battle. I hope you do good in the battle. We'll see how it goes, and I'm going to just leave it there. But Gotti, Gotti could pretty much use a good win, but they're on the same team, so I really don't know how that's going to go. But give me Gotti 2-1. Rum Nitty versus Vixen. Um, Rum Nitty's coming off of a... Um, Fire battle with Loaded Lux. Uh, he's battling Vixen the Assassin. Uh, I got Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty 2 1. Uh, Rum Nitty is battle versus Loaded Lux. Them punches. The dope throw it. The dope throw, throw it. Keep the broken. It's overloaded. You know how that nigga be doing. That nigga be wild. So I got Rum Nitty 2 1. Uh, John John versus Coffee Brown. It really depends on which version of which we get. We get the, the upper level John John who has a lot of glaring angles that he could use versus Coffee Brown, whether it be, you know, angles, you know how niggas be with the angles and shit like that. Uh, but Coffee Brown really gets like physical, she crowds your space, she gonna be going up all up in your grill, she gonna be dun, 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 dun. That's one of the battles to me that'll be a 2-1 either way toss up. I, I, I got a, that one. Uh, I know how Coffee get, I know how John John could get. From the offset looking in, you would think if John John was on 100%, he's been around and has enough experience to like get past the Coffee Brown. But Coffee Brown has been nice as of late, so this is actually a sleeper battle on the card. New Jersey Twerk versus 40 Bars. Whoever gets through their battle is going to win. Whoever gets through their battle will win. That's all I'm saying. They both, I'm not even about to do this on no Sunday. We're not going to act like. We don't know what the main thought is heading into this shit and the main premise. So shout out to both MCs. I got a 2-1 whoever gets to the end of the battle. Yeah, 2-1 whoever makes it to the end. Uh, I did see Twerk win a battle in the parking lot versus Dot not too long ago. I told you stop playing with me. I told you stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? He told him stop playing with him. I don't know if his Dot has listened yet or not, but he was definitely warned. Um, last battle, T-Top versus Official. T-Top was, uh, was was smoking for a little minute. Official in New Orleans, though. You would think in New Orleans, official should probably be able to get that one because it's in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? But it's going down uh, September 14th, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you as far as uh, with that card. Um, what other what else is going on? I saw um, Swave was mad at Jag for uh, no showing the battle, well, quote unquote, no showing the battle yesterday. But Jag did say that he, I've seen people saying Jag was involved in a car accident. I did speak to Jag, and Jag did let me know, you know what I'm saying, some of the shit that he's got going on, you know what I mean? So, why would I believe anything different when I was in LA last time when Clips was supposed to battle Jag? Clips wasn't there, so I know the frustration that Jag went through. So, I am one that has to believe that what he's telling me because he has no reason to fucking lie about it. And I don't think that Jag would be ducking per se, you know what I'm saying, anyone, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the battle goes. And so, uh, full circle did go down yesterday. I don't know the results of the battles, I was not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what did I tell you? I was at the last one, but what did I tell y'all about going all over the country back, 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 forth, forth, forth? Hell no. And you know what makes me mad? Last time I went to full circle, the niggas released a battle the next day while I was still in LA. I'm like, damn, I ain't even got to fucking be here. I can stay home. I don't have to be here. This time around, they don't release the battle. These niggas didn't release a battle. Why? ARP, why the fuck I ain't wake up to a battle being online? I wait. That's fine. Why I ain't wake up to no battle online? When I was out there, you niggas released the battle. Now I'm home. I gotta wait till next week. You can never keep up with this niggas. This shit is so crazy. So, uh, finally, one of the final things that I might talk about today is uh, 
I seen Verb online, you know what I'm saying, tweeting or whatever the case may be. He said some shit about uh he has a podcast with Gerald McCoy, and I guess Verb is saying that you know he's stopping the money from niggas now. I really didn't watch too much of it, but I saw it and heard it. But Verb said Jones is not battling Aver, but I'll be on stage though at this time. I have family emergency and niggas know that it's too much on me right now. And I ain't putting another second of stress on me for you niggers with an ER at the end. Diss me, get your blogs ready. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He said, you're going to see me on 10% and I don't give a fuck about nobody else. Same way y'all don't give a fuck about my life. This will be the easiest battle, I'm sure. Mental health is very important, bro. Like, it really is. Like, it really, it really, really, really is. Like, sometimes in life, you just got to get offline, go do some other shit, clear your mind. Because he's clearly having a breakdown about whatever the hell is going on. And like I said, I don't even be too, too, too in tune with it. Because like I said, when you mentally get involved with a lot of shit that other people have going on, it goes in your mind. So my mind be so free, and I be doing my own thing. I be like, man... I be seeing the shit that be going on, but I just keep scrolling past it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, now, oh, now he's not going to battle Sirius Jones, or he's going to go up there and not care and lose. Who knows what you want me to say. Um, the Trenches event is coming up next weekend. I do have the uh, Trenches with the full prediction with Showtime SP. He's actually in them. I'll drop them next week because I like to drop the last final, final, final predictions like a day or two before the event. If I drop the shit today, you niggas wouldn't even care. You know, niggas be having short 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 attention span so i'll drop the final predictions with showtime sp next week um shout out to everybody out there i may or may not blog tomorrow and tuesday you know what i'm saying because like i said i'll be gone oh fuck it i'll drop the predictions one of the two days that i'm going on vacation we're leaving tomorrow anyway and like i said shout out to my brother showtime sp you know what the fuck going on gang 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 crack, 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 crack. shout out the goods man keep working boy ah. I wake up, start smoking a spliff, <coughs> start choking this shit, eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch, but I don't trust a soul, so the toasters grip the clip fly and, I get high, I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? that's what I happen to 